Hola, soy Santi. Hi, I'm Angela. Together we're realizing our dream of relocating to my homeland in the south of Spain. Along with our Australian shepherd Levi, we want to share our passion for the Mediterranean lifestyle, where the sun shines more than 320 days a year. So if you like this video and you want to join us on our journey, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Living La Vida Costa. Cause I found my way. to the end of the video, we're going to tell you how much we paid for this home here in Spain. So as you can see, this is an open concept dining room slash living room. We have a lot, a lot of light coming through this front window, which is really nice. We have the window open, there's a nice breeze. So when you purchase a home in Spain, I would say 95% of the times um, homes do come furnished. Um, in our case, we pretty much threw everything out except for this couch. It was in very good condition, so we just had it steam cleaned, but everything else is brand new. We whitewashed the entire house, and we purchased all new light fixtures on every level. So we had a lot of renovations done in this house. Um, we decided to change the shower door, so that's brand new. We changed the toilet, the vanity, the mirror, and the light fixtures. We decided to keep the ceramic in here just because I thought it worked well with the entire house and it was actually in very good condition. Uh, so we kept the, the ceramic tile. It's very Spanish style and I did like it. So follow me and we'll show you the kitchen. So this is our kitchen. Um, we decided to keep the countertops because they were in good condition. Um, what we did do was we removed some of the cupboards that were here we added two floating shelves. Um, I changed all the door handles. And as well, we changed the sink. I added a new faucet. Um, we also changed the cooktop, so the oven and the cooktop. And we also added this bit. Most homes in Spain, uh, the washing machine is in the kitchen. Sometimes it's outside, um, like in a little, like kind of like a storage area. But in our case, um, the washing machine is in the kitchen, which is pretty handy. Um, and as well, we purchased this new fridge. As you can see, if you're from North America, kitchens in Spain, and actually houses in general, are a lot smaller. So that's one thing you need to get used to, but you spend most of your time outside, not inside. So if you pan over here, Sandy, I'm going to show the back area. So this is our storage area where we keep our bikes and all my cleaning supplies, like my mop and broom. All right, so this is our storage area. Um, we actually kind of like it. It's uh, it's very handy to have when you're in Spain. Yeah. It's uh, it's all, it's, I mean, it's bordered by all the other houses. We keep our bikes out here, we cover them. I mean, there's no snow, there's no ice, but it just protects them from the rain. Um, those are AC heating units. In this house, we've got one two, three, four of them, and they uh, they function both as heating and AC. Most units in Spain do. So it just uh, takes a, a nip off the air in the uh, wintertime. And then we've got, like most houses in Spain, uh, will have bars. I mean, it's a security feature. It's standard on most houses in Spain, not that there's a lot of uh, break and enters, 
but I mean, it's just peace of mind. Um, it's, we even have a large gate. I'm sure you saw it as we walked in. The front door has a large gate. Uh, we have a sink out here, uh, which gives us the opportunity to, to do some of our cleanup. And then we did this, we installed a brand new water heater. The old one was uh, quite old. Uh, this one was about three to 400 euros installed all in. It really didn't take any time and it's just a, it's a modern heater. Uh, not very large, but uh, it is digital. Um, I mean, you, you can't take four hour showers, that's for sure. Sometimes in Spain, a lot of people do the on-demand gas ones, but we don't have a gas line in here for that. So we went with electric. So we live in a three bedroom townhouse. We have three bedrooms and two full bathrooms. So Santi, follow me upstairs and we'll show you the second level. As you can see, these are stone steps. It's very common in Spain to have these steps. The only thing is, is that you have to really be careful. I, I'm always wearing my slippers just because I, you know, barefoot or um, in your socks, you might slip. So I'm always, I always have my slippers on. So this is the bathroom on the second level. Uh, we had it pretty much all gutted. All brand new tile, brand new light fixture, brand new vanity, toilet, bidet. That's very common in Spain to have a bidet. Shower, shower head. So everything is brand new in this bathroom. The tile is very Spanish style. Um, and as well, we had that um, all redone in this washroom. So this is the spare bedroom. Um, again, we had the whole house whitewashed, so freshly painted, uh, new curtains, new bedding, new mattress, mattress top, mattress cover. Um, there's ample storage in here. And we also added a TV for our guests. And again, this um, bedroom does come with in an AC slash heater unit. And I'll show you. It's very easy, you just power it on. It, you can turn on the heat or the AC, depending on summer or winter. So this is the master bedroom. It's a lot bigger than the spare room. There's a lot of light that comes through here. Nice big window. Again, whitewashed. We kept the uh, dresser and the two end tables. Uh, we have a new mattress here with new bedding, new light fixtures, new TV. And we like the fact that there's a, um, a little patio outside of our bedroom, which Santi uses as a workout area. <laughs> Not very big, but it yeah, works. Um, yeah, it works. It's very private. Yeah. It's a little windy today, so. Again, we have an AC slash heater in our bedroom. And we are about, can't, well, yeah, you can see the sea right there. We're about two, three hundred meters from the Mediterranean Sea. So we're just going to show you something that is extremely typical in Spain. And that's the shutters that roll all the way down. Almost every Spanish house has them. They're built into the walls. They, they recess outside into a box. And they're usually operated by one of these small cords. You can't get electric ones, but I mean, it's not too common. So they're, they're, they're really good. And what they use them for, I mean, obviously daytime, it's nice. Sun's out, we want them open. Some people, let's say they have a vacation home and they want air to get in, but they don't want like bugs, birds, They'll open the windows and they'll leave it so that these vents are open. And what that does is I get a full breeze of wind and air in here. And that way it, it, it get, you get to ventilate your house if you're not home and you got the added security of knowing that that's, uh, that's close. If I want to close at nighttime, I don't want any air. I don't want anything. I just go all the way to the bottom and it shuts it completely. And that way you get perfect uh, blackout curtains mm -hmm. uh, especially for our CS in the oh, yeah. afternoon <laughs> so yeah this is very typical in Spain yeah probably need a little bit of oil on these but uh yeah, yeah. and then even the patio door also comes with the as well. yeah all yeah. patio all exterior doors yeah. uh well except for the front door yeah windows and doors usually have them 
So we're going to go upstairs to the third level. Um, as Angela had mentioned, uh, stone steps, uh, differences between North American construction and most Mediterranean construction is it's all entirely stone based. The reason for that is the extreme temperatures, the 40 plus temperatures in the summer. Uh, you can't have wood. It would just dry up. Everything. And the stone is much cooler. will keep the house much cooler. The stone steps, everything based in stone and ceramic, and that comes from dozens of years of history, will keep a house cooler. Like houses, if you've got a good ventilation system in the house and it's all stone, I mean, it usually can cool down the house even without air conditioning. I'm gonna go upstairs if uh, you're following me. have two twin beds here for our guests again whitewashed change the light fixture and this bedroom also comes with the AC slash heater unit and the same rolling blinds very nice little room I yeah. could come here with guests and you have for sure two uh, teenagers or two yeah. young children it's a great spot and lots of closet space and lots of closet space yeah. very nice so we're going to show you the uh, the top uh, terrace. Yes, and I have some laundry to hang out, so. It's really yeah. great for laundry. We don't, most houses here in Spain don't have dryers. Uh, they tend to go with the, uh, the air dry. And then, I mean, in cold nights or if it's raining, we just move it inside yeah. and throw it in that spare room up top. But, I mean, you got a top terrace here. Once again, all stone tile flooring. A little storage area here in the back, which some of the old owners had left some chairs, which we will be throwing out. Once again, another air heating unit. But, um, so this, our house was painted, but so what you'll get in Spain sometimes due to the humidity is you'll get some of this. You'll get the, uh, the dark erosion. And that's just a question every now and then, either you clean it or you have somebody come up and paint it. Yeah. Do you notice the roof? All roofs in Spain are clay, obviously due to the heat, uh, withstands the heat very well and the temperatures. But uh, very cute little area, and uh, we'll supervise Angela, make sure she's hanging these clothes properly. Not, uh, there you oh, go. You see, she failed. She just failed. I failed though. All right. Yeah, and it's, it's yeah. Most like Santi said, most homes in Spain do not have dryers, and I prefer hanging our clothes out. It's very fresh, and I just prefer it anyway. Yeah, it's sunny, very old school. A sunny day yeah. like this with the wind. Yeah. It's the wind that Oh, and your clothes dry so fast out here. Oh yeah. And I mean, right now, today, it's about 21, 22. Yeah. Not overly hot. The sun is beautiful. But that wind will dry this clothes in no time at all. For sure, yeah. And I think that's it. No, we're going to go downstairs, and we're going to tell you how much we paid for this unit. Oh, a big finale. The finale. So the area that we live in is called Costa Blanca. And we are about 45 minutes south of Alicante and about four and a half hours north of Malaga. As mentioned before, the area is really good for us. It was easy mm -hmm. to assimilate into yeah. uh, being expats and uh, a lot of Nordic people. Very mm -hmm. easy to move in here. Uh, disclosure, it's not our first house. Mm -hmm. This is not our first house. Our first house, actually, we purchased a small uh, little house in an area called La Florida, which was about two and a half kilometers uh, via car mm -hmm. to the seaside, yeah. which was a major drawback for us. Mm -hmm. We were, we didn't want to have to drive that far to get to the sea. Um, and then another reason why we sold it was because we couldn't obtain a tourist license just in that area. Yeah, it was, I'm not sure what it was with the regulations of that community. Something, yeah. they, you couldn't do it. A lot of people would rent, but mm -hmm. they'd do it under the table. And we, we like to have everything out in the open. We didn't mm -hmm. want to do anything under table no. we paid what did we pay for that we house? paid eighty nine thousand euros for that house so it was a two bedroom one bath it was kind of laid out very awkwardly like it was just yeah it was it just didn't suit us no the, you, yeah. it had one you had your main area then you had a little bed where the mm -hmm. bedroom was super tight yeah. and basically six inches on each side yeah. of the bed go to the washroom and then you'd have to come to go to this little patio and these spiral staircases mm -hmm. to get to the second level. They were outside. The, yeah, the it was it was yeah. very awkward. Yeah. Um, and like we mentioned before, we bought that house sight unseen, so you know that's obviously a big lesson for us. But it also helped us, you know, get a feel for this area and actually know exactly what we wanted. And what we want is to be close to the sea, which is what we have now. And so this house. Yeah, we paid one hundred sixty-four thousand nine hundred euros for this house. 
which is a three bedroom, two full bath townhouse. And it really is, this house is not much smaller than our house in, in Canada. For a third of the cost. And it, it, it's a home. Yeah. I mean, we feel like compared to our first yeah. house, we see ourselves living in a house like this. Yes. It, it is. But we've also made it our own. Sorry to interrupt. But yeah, we made it our own. Like we've done a lot of renovations to make it, you know, livable. This house, I mean, when we moved in, it was extremely clear mm -hmm. that the previous owners had only used this house for rental purposes. Yeah. It was full of collections from previous people who had rented it. They buy mm -hmm. things, they leave it behind. We did so many garbage trips. Mm -hmm. It yeah. was unbelievable. Yeah. But we, we've really cleaned it up. Mm -hmm. And I mean, as far as a tourist license, yeah. we're on the verge of getting it done. We were just at the lawyers the other day mm -hmm. and it looks like any, any second now we're yeah. going to get our license. Yeah, so that's the plan is that we're going to be renting this place out. But for now, we're just renting it to, you know, friends and family. We're letting them stay here, so. So when we do get the license mm -hmm. for this place, and it does uh, go up for rent, if you're interested, yeah. I mean, definitely you've already, you're, you're pretty mm -hmm. acquainted with the area yes. and the house itself. It will go up for rent. All right, so Angela, for our next episode, what are we covering? Yeah, so look forward to an upcoming episode where we're actually going to go over the cost of owning a home here in Spain. Things from electricity, water, and internet. And on that note... Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, we hope you enjoy this episode and we will see you in the next one. Adios amigos.